press, and this video is going to discuss the military press. So, the first thing about the military press that I want to talk about is range of motion. I like people to start right here at the top of the sternum and press overhead to a complete lockout. Now, some people have different ratios of forearm to humerus length, and they don't, or they just have, you know, tight musculature, and they have problem get, problems getting all the way down. If it hurts to go all the way down, don't go down that far. But if you can do this pain-free, I like it to start right here. To me, that's a, a proper military press. And also make sure you lock out fully. Don't stop here. Push that extra distance. So, that's range of motion. The next thing I want to talk about is your stance width and your core function. So, some people like just around a narrow, like a shoulder width stance. Some people go a little bit wider. Some people offset their feet. And any one of those is okay. I happen to like around the shoulder with stance. Once the bar is right here on the shoulders, you are going to be leaning back slightly. So you want to make sure that your glutes are squeezed and your abs are braced. You don't want to be loosey-goosey in the core. This needs to be tight. And a lot of it, as the weight gets heavier, and as the reps approach failure, people tend to lean back more. It's almost impossible not to. So you want to have the muscles tight so to prevent that. You don't want to lean back excessively when you do this. And then another thing before I demonstrate is I want to talk about the scapula. So normal uh, scapula humeral rhythm is going to look like this. The scapula upwardly rotate. Now, um, there is some research showing that the heavier, you go, the heavier you lift, the scapula don't rotate upwards as much. Like if I just go like this, they're going to rotate upwards a lot. Whereas if I have heavy load, they're not going to upwardly rotate as much. But you don't ever want to limit that natural upward rotation. So I don't know if you can see my scapula here, but you're going to have this normal rhythm as you press it overhead of your scapula going like this. And you don't ever want to interfere with that. You don't want to think of just these scapulae sticking in place. They're going to come overhead. Now the next topic is related to that is um, how do you do you keep the shoulders down or do you shrug them upwards as you come up? And this is a debate. So some coaches think that as you come up you want the shoulders back and down. Some coaches think that you should drive the scapulae upwards. I think you don't need to think about that too much. Do what feels natural. My shoulders will come up a little bit. Gymnasts, when they're doing their handstand stuff, they shrug upwards. So do most Olympic weightlifters. They shrug upwards. Um, but you don't have to exaggerate it. Um, you just, just press strongly and feel your scapula supporting the muscles, supporting the load. You know, so you've got like serratus anterior, lower traps, upper traps. You've got these muscles in the back that will help support the load. So use those muscles. And that's just a natural rhythm. And then finally, before I demonstrate one last thing, um, Olympic weightlifters, you know, when they pass their head, they will drive their head forward. Once the bar passes their head, they actively drive it forward. And I think that's the best advice. But some of my powerlifting friends, they don't do that. They stay like this because they think that it transfers better to the bench press. So that's worth noting. So not everyone drives the head forward. All right, so here's what it looks like. I am going to grab the bar. I'm not way out wide. I'm in here. A pretty narrow grip, just outside shoulder width. All right. Some people like the false grip. Some people like to tuck their thumbs. I actually like the false grip here. And I'm going to come down. My shoulders are underneath. I am not starting up here like in the front squat position. My shoulders are, my elbows are under the bar. Bar is just above my sternum. I will take it off the rack. Shoulder width stance. Glutes are squeezed. Core is braced. And now from here, 
I am going to have my lats are tight, my triceps are tight. I'll explain what this means. When I have the bar right here, I'm squeezing my lat. I'm going to use my triceps. I'm, all this is tight in here. It's not loosey-goosey. It's tight. My elbows are tucked inwards too a little bit. Okay? And this leads to the most of the, of the load being placed on the muscles. Okay, so right here, elbows under the bar, lats are tight, everything's tight, elbows are tucked in there, not flared out, they're in like this. I press upwards, right when it passes my head, push the head forward, lock out, and notice my scapula come up like this. This is a strong lockout. Come back down. So again, here's what the re-wraps looks like.